think it was the opportunities that we did have when we actually got our hands on the ball that was the most frustrating. Um, a couple of set piece where uh, we weren't as clinical as we needed to be, and I think you know, in taking something out of this game, um, I think I can comfortably say that it, that it wasn't them that beat us; it was sort of us that beat ourselves. Um, we had those opportunities um, to execute, and we were just that little bit off. And you know, New Zealand side, you've got to be, you've got to get um, your set piece right. You've got to get your execution right. You've got to have um, all your little detail around the breakdown right. You're never going to run away with a game. It's always going to be tight, and you're going to rely on those little moments in a game um, when you come up against New Zealand sides, and we just didn't have it time. You said you beat yourselves. What well, part of that? Um, I don't know what your stats said, but the ones we were looking at said 54 missed tackles. Yeah, we made a lot of tackles, though. I mean, we were defending for long passages there. I think there were a few passive tackles where they sort of um, they maybe went a bit high and they, they uh, pushed through those tackles. But uh, you know, overall, the defence. We shut down a number of phases um, of attack from them, but yeah, I think probably a little bit too passive with our with our tackles, and then not hard enough on the ball at times. Um, but you know, if you look at our, I think if you look at the, the stats overall in terms of the possession that they had, and it was it was good possession where they had lots and lots of phases against us, we defended pretty well. A couple of set piece tries in that second half were disappointing, but um, yeah, they really didn't score anything from their multi phase attack. Yeah, like, I, I don't know, do you view it as um, you've got to turn uh, a lot of things around over the next, uh, like, you've got to buy now, so a couple of ways to turn it around, or is it tinkering with little things? Or? Yeah, no, it's little things. It's, uh, you know, like I said, it's going to be a tight game against the New Zealand side, and you've got to make sure um, the little things are right, so it's your breakdown. Um, your clearance, I think our clearance in the first half wasn't where it needed to be. Um, the kicks were probably a little bit off the money. Um, and then... Second half it was probably more our execution from set piece. So yeah, it's, it's one or two little things throughout the game. There's some magnificent individual performances out there tonight. Um, guys working really hard for one another and um, finding really good combination out there. But then obviously let down by another individual mistake here or there. Who did you think stood out for you? I could pretty much name the whole team. Yeah, I think there were certainly passages where guys put their body on the line and, and worked really hard for one another. And then, you know, probably look the other way and say, well, uh, everyone works so hard. It's, it's um, you know, the one or two mistakes that a couple of individuals made and you know, everyone's probably guilty of making one mistake out there. And in the end, they were fairly costly, costly mistakes because we just couldn't get uh, the execution where we needed it tonight. Well, we've asked Cards a few times this year about, you know, um, when to kick for penalties, when to um, go for the try sort of yep. thing. That one and a half time, is it a case of backing up Carter's decision, he's making that decision to go for attack and Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's no concerns over that at all. I think every every decision that someone makes out there um, is getting fully backed by the other players. Um, I'm, I meant backing it up with execution. Yeah, that's right. That's, yeah. There's another one there. I mean, that, a couple in the second half that I spoke about, but certainly that one in the first half, I mean, they wouldn't be happy with the way they executed that. You can ask Carter about that. but. Um, yeah, that's what, that's what I'm talking about. It's the it's the one or two little mistakes. Um, someone doesn't quite get the right um, line in attack. Um, someone runs out slightly over line and doesn't link up with his support on the inside. Yeah, and they all added up tonight. They kept trials with sort of a new um, sort of emphasis on attack that you were speaking about. Is that a real concern? Uh, well, well, you look at the stats in that second half, and we had. Quite a few opportunities. There were certainly four opportunities um, that I can count. Four good opportunities. We were sort of down in their end, and uh, every one resulted in a penalty to us. So there was plenty of infringing at the breakdown, and uh, um, you know they were, they were right on the edge. Carts had a, had a chat to Nick out there, and uh, they'd given away six penalties, um, and he said that's their warning. So if they infringed again, they were sort of in the bin, um, which is what we were trying to get to, and. On the back of all those um, penalties, Cars uh, made the decision, which was backed by us, to, to take the points and eat away at the lead that they had, and then eventually, you know, sneak in front. Sort of 15 in a row for New Zealand sides is, is inevitably going to be talked about now. They were the lowest ranked New Zealand side, and you guys are the highest ranked Australian side. Yep. Is it a concern for Australian rugby? 
Uh, no, we take it week by week, game by game. So, I mean, our focus was certainly um, not that this is a New Zealand side, but it was the Auckland Blues. So we had a specific game plan to beat them. And, um, you know, like I said, there was some really good stuff out there. But um, the good thing is, like I said before, I don't think it's the Auckland Blues beating us. I think it's um, our execution letting us down. Tom Banks was pretty exciting through patches. Yeah, had a good game, a couple of breaks there. Um, and, you know, I was under a, a fair bit of pressure coming in. Um, Aiden's one of our more senior players and certainly controls the play at the back quite well and uh, thinks he had a, a lot to do out there tonight. And, and I think he did that well. He did the basics really well and then obviously uh, found a couple of holes in the defence and capitalised on those. Probably not as, you know, another one there where we, we go off the scrum and Banksy goes through and has Henry on the inside unmarked. Um, if we can get that pass to Henry, then we'll probably score a try. So again, you know, fantastic game, but, but everyone's probably guilty of making one or two mistakes. Is it hard for Aiden to get back in after that sort of performance? Uh, we'll, we'll make an assessment on, um, on our next game um, in a week and a bit's time. Tana, I was just saying with um, the attacking style you guys have had the last three weeks, it looks like even though there were no tries tonight, you're right on the precipice there of kind of yeah, yeah. I mean, there were some good passes, like I said, in that second half. I think uh, we didn't have many in the first half. Um, we didn't really have a lot, uh, apart from those five that I mentioned um, in that second half. Um, but they were good passages. We started to find some inroads there, and like I said, they uh, they had to resort to infringing in order to stop us. Um, and then we took our points, and we just didn't get another opportunity. I mean, we had that opportunity at the end of the game, but again, you know, slightly off here or there, and and it's not good enough against um, the team we played tonight. Are you sticking with the attacking game then, though? Yeah, I think um, yeah, um, nothing's going to change there. We have to make sure that um, we pick and choose when we want to attack and where we want to attack from, and I think that was a much better balanced game tonight than it was last week against the Hurricanes. But, um, yeah, like we just said, that. You know, a couple of opportunities there to execute and we didn't quite get it from set piece which is normally one of our strengths. Um, I think the attack that we're talking about is more the multi-phase stuff and, and we're certainly going to continue that, yeah. Cuts, um, back to that decision, is it, like I know you've said all along this year, it's been a few we've asked you, you said, you know, you don't make excuses for decisions out there, that sort of thing, but what, what went wrong there in that line out? Those are the ones you've got to execute to win games, I yeah, it was. It was a specific play we'd practiced during the week. Um, it was a maul off the back uh, with Fards. We wanted to hold him up a little bit so we can get the base set and go forward. Um, I was right in the thick of, it, thick of it. I haven't actually had a look at it, but obviously got collapsed there. But again, we played out of it. We gave ourselves a chance. I think Banksy had an inside ball where I got in the way. I mean, that was another opportunity to score. It's just little moments like that that we need to execute. and. The difference there, I mean, that could be seven points, that could be three points up at half time, take the penalties in the second half, and we could be up and put ourselves in a real position to create pressure and get more points in the second half. I mean, that's exactly what Bernie's talking about. If we execute those little moments, then the game could be completely different. Must be frustrating at the moment, is it? It's given we've seen what you guys can do, but then, like, it's just fallen away a little bit. Yeah, it is. I mean, uh, it's particularly frustrating. I mean, I, I, don't, I haven't personally been in this position where we've lost this many games in a season, so it's it's new for me. And I think uh, the execution and the composure at times needs to be better, and that's what we're seeing. If we if we are a little bit better in those moments, and we win these tight games. I mean, I haven't got the exact stat, but I think we've lost what five games now within seven points. Certain moments in the game go different ways, and we win all five of those games. So that's that's something we're learning, and something we need to be better at. Must be like are you scratching your head a little bit though, because last time you were sitting here was after that Reds game, where everything looked to be firing on all cylinders, sort of thing. Like I don't know, can you pinpoint somewhere over the last three weeks where I don't know something changed or? Oh, it's it's different opposition every week. I mean, obviously the Reds, we played really well against the Reds, and then who did we have after that? We had the. Rebels. Uh, the Rebels, I think we really let ourselves down in Melbourne and then play the Hurricanes over in New Zealand. I mean, that was another tough match and we played the Blues here. So it's it's something we're working on and something we definitely need to get better moving forward. Ben, I think the, um, 
just trying to picture the ladder in my head. I think at the end of next round you'll still be on top. Yeah, five points ahead yeah, still. Depending yeah. on what I'm against. It's not great, is it? But no. But um, I mean, there's, there's some positives I guess you can take out of the game. And if I look at that Reds game, I think we played a better balanced game tonight than that, that Reds game. We um, we just we had more opportunities against the Reds. Um, the Blues didn't give us many opportunities tonight. And, and I thought we, you know, like I said, we, we executed those pretty well and ended up getting penalties out of all those opportunities. Whereas against the Reds, I think there was some bubble ball that, that we picked up and made the most of. And, yeah, the score blew out in the end, but we're, we're getting better as a team. There's no doubt about that. I think um, we've learned a lot um, for a relatively young team together. Um, we're learning each week, um, and I think obviously a better game this week than it was last week, um, and I still feel this is a better game than the, than the Reds. Cuts was right in terms of that Rebels game. That was a real disappointment for us, but um, other than that, we're, we're, um, we're improving each week. Um, the combination on the field is getting better each week, and... Uh, yeah, we're still five points ahead at the, at the end of the round. Because while it's not good for Australian rugby, is like, um, I mean, the beauty of it is you guys have lost three in a row for the first time in a long time now, but you're still going to be in a position when the Lions, when you play the Lions, to, I guess, um, be the masters of your own destiny. Yep, yep that's right. Yeah, so we'll, um, I mean, we've got a good draw as well. We've had sort of a, a run of five games with a bye and then a run of four games now. We've got a bye and... We hit the Lions and then Africa and Argentina and come back and play the Rebels. So, you know, four games in a row there. We've, you know, everything's still um, in our favour moving forward. We just have to make sure we're nice and rested coming out of this break and energetic when we come up against the Lions because they're you know, top of the table at the moment. And a pretty good team. You mentioned the relatively young side. Do you put some of these close losses maybe down to uh, experience? I mean, fairly young players at nine and ten and some other key positions. Uh, I think. You know, similar to what we, we saw tonight, it, it's the execution um, in, in crucial moments. So that's your composure, isn't it? Making sure that when the pressure's on, you're still executing the way that you want to execute. And I uh, wasn't quite there tonight, but like I've said, I think we're improving as a team, and that goes um, for everyone. That goes you know, for the nines and tens, for, for everyone who made mistakes out there tonight. They're, they're certainly improving week to week.